cooperation is uh, a difficult thing in any event. And it's just like uh, you know what they always say about coordination. Everybody wants more coordina coordination, but nobody wants to be coordinated. Well, similarly, uh, you know, everybody says all the time, we need more cooperation, we need more engagement, we need more dialogue. But then at the end of the day, when push comes to shove and there's real money on the table or power at stake and so on, you find that certain players will sort of like push off onto the side and operate in a way that's not in the open agora kind of approach. So it's, it's the call for cooperation the, and, and extolling the virtues of cooperation is something that comes very easily to everybody. Everybody, you know, we're here a United Nations related function. Everybody here will say, good, cooperation is wonderful. And, and of course, I agree, cooperation is necessary. But the reality is we have to balance that with an understanding of the true underlying structure of incentives and power dynamics that are throughout this entire space and how that modifies the possibilities for what you can really achieve through cooperation. There are, there are domains of cooperation that I think are working relatively well, and there are domains where we are just getting nowhere and where, uh, particularly with regard to security type issues, um, discussion just seems to end up recycling the same divisions over and over. So it, it's, a, it's a very mixed bag. There's no. There's no simple trajectory of, you know, that we're moving towards greater and higher levels of cooperation, nor are we moving towards a realm of the you know, cooperation is systematically collapsing. You, you've got patterns of cooperation that are, so, some are one step forward, two steps back, well, some are moving a little bit better. It's highly differentiated.